Okay, so welcome to Beast Berry's homestead. Today we're in comfy clothes because it's 61 degrees in Florida with a high of 73. I don't think it's even gonna get that high, so it's pretty cold. Went to work this morning, nursing an ear infection, so I'm chilling in my PJs. But I got a bunch of strawberry plants and they're ready to be planted. Let me show you. probably can't see in this bag but nope you can't so but yeah we got a bunch of these from walmart uh, we've got like five or six over here so i'm gonna get some soil ready for the strawberries so i'm just gonna put a bunch of this heat moss in here and re-moisten it and then i'm gonna take some cow manure and that's it mix it together whoops that was violent and I'm gonna put them in these little dollar store stackable things that I got and I'll put them in the garden for strawberries because my strawberries did not like being planted in the raised beds. And I looked it up and you can like mound the raised beds and they like those a little better. I just don't have the energy. I bought these and I'd rather just do that. So that's what we're gonna do this year. So welcome to these two berries home No bees yet, no name change yet either, so. Mm -hmm. I have all this fertilizer in this wagon back here behind me. Compost to add because we're starting a ton of seeds this year for the garden. This spring, this fall, whatever you call it. I think it's spring. bumped all these holes out and we're just gonna, gonna fill a few of these with black cow compost or black cow food whatever and peat moss. strawberries on the top ones are strawberries that I grew from seed with little ones and then these giant root balls down here on the bottom are the ones that I got from Walmart but seeds seeds 
got some really good looking strawberries and I got eight of these three tiered filled with strawberries and four pots or three pots for now. And I still have all these other strawberry plants. So I think what I'm gonna do is mix up some more peat moss, pre-moisten it, bring these out to the garden. And I think I'm gonna plant what's left in a raised bed, but I'm gonna mound it with peat moss and cow manure, like strawberries like. Can't get that clump of dirt out of there. Anyways, um, but yeah, it looks, it looks really cute. I like it. Can't wait to get it filled up with all the strawberries. Violence is not the answer, but yeah. Lots of strawberries. Man, that's a tedious, annoying part of gardening right there, I tell you. Little strawberries I started from seed. And then I plant an onion in there. Right in between. And potatoes. Potatoes. I need to get a marker and write that down before I forget. Yay. A few things going in the garden for 2023. Second year with all these raised beds, fruit trees on this side, raspberries, blackberries, and blueberry bushes over here. And then we have a nice mix up here. We have mint peppermint that was basil it's kind of dead hopefully it comes back oh we have a bunch of little things over here that haven't died yet so i'll have to plant that looks like we have beets these are all lemon trees banana trees yay Hi there, big old bumblebee. All the honey. Well, there's one of the honeybees. Hi there. We're on the other side now. Let's see. Hi there. Aren't you guys so beautiful? Hello, big honeybee. Thanks for fertilizing my. I mean, pollinating. <laughs> oh. There's a bunch of, there was just like six bees over here, but I think I scared them off because I'm watering the plants. I'll have to come back a little bit later. There's a couple over here still. Well, there's one right now checking it out still. All right, we're just planting a bunch of potatoes today.
welcome back. It's been a while since I've seen you guys. Hi there. I hope that you guys are having a great day wherever you are. And uh, thank you so much for joining us today while we um, plant some new things in the garden and just try to get some things going. I've already planted quite a few things. Obviously not in this bed, but um, I planted corn already, garlic, I accidentally opened the bag of garlic and like a hundred heads of garlic went everywhere. So, and of course that's the one time I've ever gotten garlic to sprout when there's gonna be like all of them right on top of each other. So we have a big batch of garlic. We got strawberries started, planted lettuce already. A lot of it's coming up, a lot of it's doing good. We've already planted potatoes. They're looking great. Um, we have tomatoes and cucumbers and a bunch of stuff planted over there. So we're trying to get beds ready to move everything out. Um, I did finally realize after like eight years of gardening this year, um, on the last eight years, I realized this year that broccoli and cauliflower plants do not like to be transplanted, neither do peas or beans or anything like that. So I directly sowed the beans and the peas into the ground this year and um, I'm doing the same thing with the broccoli and the cauliflower and the Brussels sprouts and... Um, I've got watermelon, I'm gonna plant some collards, and I have a ton of like plant like flowers, and I didn't really plant many last year. So I have a bunch of zinnias, marigold, sweet peas, snapdragon, sunflowers, a gourd birdhouses, and zinnia zinnias. Um, I also want to plant some bunching onions directly into the bed because I planted some up there and they're doing great, but I really don't think they like to be transplanted. So um, I've already planted the broccoli back there. So we're gonna go ahead and do the cauliflower up in here. And then this bed will have dill, um, collards, uh, peas. I think that's a Brussels sprout over there that was left from like last season and it's still growing. So we're gonna leave it alone. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna plant some cauliflower right here. I hope you guys are having a great day and uh, come and join me for some fun in the garden today. All right, let's get going. So this bed, obviously we have lettuce, salad mix, whatever, and I planted more in the middle that's coming up, but I want to plant a few marigolds in here. I put a bunch of perennials in here and I've been kind of shaking them, but uh, all throughout the garden, but I specifically want marigolds in here along with wherever my tomatoes are going to go. So I'll specifically, specifically <laughs> plant these. Oh my God, that's got a good root. There we go. Um, I'll just throw some fred, fresh dirt over the flowers and give them a little water. <laughs> from Walmart for seven dollars I love it all right I want to plant a few of these bunching onions and that bed is full that bed is full assuming all these green beans come up I guess you know what I'm gonna plant these along this edge over here because I planted a bunch of lettuce here and I think it's all gonna be coming up very soon so let's give it a little bit more time but the green beans here I only planted the green beans where the um, where this is, like right underneath of this. As you can see, there's one coming up right here. So that's kind of like a little line for you. So I'll plant a few of these right along this bed. Ooh, these are tiny.
welcome to um, Beast of Berries Homestead. Um, I have a house to clean today, so we're just going to plant. <clears throat> we have 12 um, bushes over here. There's a variety. We have grapevines, blueberries, there's raspberries, um, just a huge variety. There's 12 of them, though. And then I have these over here, and obviously these are just weeds. Um, but I need to get them planted and out into the garden, out of here, because we have raccoons and stuff. And they like to dig in the pots, and so does my child. So it's time to get them moved out, and they all need to be watered. And then... today but I planted this put this avocado seed in my avocado boat and I keep forgetting to plant this tree I really think it's time to plant it <laughs> Starts are doing this season. We've got a bunch of tomatoes coming up. Super excited about that. I'm gonna move these guys out. Possibly today, maybe tomorrow, probably tomorrow. Swiss chard. These are more tomatoes. We've got some collards here, a few cucumbers. Oh wait, those are watermelon. This tree is a mix of watermelon and squash. Looks like a tomato found his way in here. These are cauliflower. And broccoli but i directly planted these in the garden because i don't think they like to transfer so if nothing comes of that it's fine we have some planted already um cucumbers so excited got a little pepper plant doing good over here <clears throat> oh yeah summer crook neck yeah some squash yeah this is all of our squash and zucchini so i'm gonna plant these out for sure this evening and beef beef from aroma got another round of tomatoes coming up the back we have bunching onions here and i also planted more directly in the garden 